Okay, so now I want to I want to find the 75th term. So this is actually writing a formula for the nth term, not using n minus 1. Because suppose I want the 75th term way the heck out here, lots and lots of stuff in between, which means I have to, as in the previous example, figure out that I'm adding 4 to each, adding 4, adding 4, I have to add 4, oh my gosh, I have to add 4 a gazillion more times to get there. So when you think of it that way, and you go, okay, I don't want to say add 4 to the previous term because I don't know what the 74th term is. If somebody would just give me the 74th term, this would be very easy. I would just add 4 and we'd be on our way. So I need to do something else instead. So I need to figure out how many spaces in between and maybe multiply those spaces by 4 and then add those. That's a possibility. I can do something, well, this is from the 6th to the 75th. What if I started with the 1st and went to the 75th? So how could I say, okay, start at 7, which is the first term, and then I need to add 4, but I need to add 4 how many times? Well. I need to add it not 75 times because I really, if I count from here, it's actually going to be 74 times, right? Because if I suppose I wanted to do just this piece, I start with 7 and to get to term 3, I would say add 4 twice. So doing, doing just this piece, where are my highlighters? doing just this piece here. I do 7 plus 4 times 2. Right, so these two 4's, this is 4 times 2, and this gives me the third term. So what is this 2? This 2 can is the same as 3 minus 1. This 3 is the same as this 3. So if we looked at it from the point of view of using maybe these five terms, we could say the sixth term is the first term plus 4 times, how many do we need? That's adding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, again, this 5 is 6 minus 1. So here's my sixth term, there's the 6. So for the nth term, I have the nth term equals, I'm still going to use the first term, plus, and I'm adding 4 times, this number is always this guy minus 1. So this is n minus 1. Now, I specifically started this saying I'm not going to ask for the n minus 1th term. Notice I'm not actually asking for the term itself. I don't need to know what this term is. I'm actually using the number 74 when I do this. So the 75th term is 7 plus 4 times 74. So I don't need the term. This, this number is not going to be 74. It's the 74th spot. So what's 4 times 74? 28, 29, 296. So 7 plus 296 is, oh wow, 303. So the 75th term is 303. Notice that means the 74th term is 299, right? Because we subtract 4 to go here. So I have the 75th 
75th term. And here is my formula for the nth term of the sequence.